Okay, a lot of you have asked some questions about how I sharpen my cold steel serrations. This is not it. This is how I sharpen most of my knives. Y'all got a good strop. Y'all need to get one. This thing is going to work wonders for you most of the time. Now, I know on the serrations, you can't strop your serrations out. But holy heck, this thing. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. It's my pleasure. Okay, so like I said, the strop's not gonna help you with the serrations, but get you one for your other knives. Let's put that, I think that's off camera. I'm trying a new camera set up, so I apologize if it's weird. So here we go, nice serrated cold steel. Let's make sure that's on camera, yeah, it's playing on camera. So check that out. The furniture super rippy, girl. <laughs> So let's pretend you know you're out there. What were you cutting that you ruined your serrations? Probably some boxes of rope. It's eventually going to get to your serrations here. Oh, you guys. First of all, what's this? Austin. <laughs> Austin Serrated Voyager. That, that's the one. So out there in the internet, on the Amazons, there's a cold steel Lansky sharpener. And all it does is do cold steel serrations. So let's open this bad boy up and check it out. And it's super easy. So you got your serrations or now there's other ways to do it too, but this is the easiest way to do it right here. So you can check that out. Let me see if we can get those serrations locked in there. Yeah, you can see them. See, there we go. All right. So all you're going to do, you can take your serrations. You can do it a number of ways. You can just line the serrations up with the little grooves here. And you'll find it kind of locks in. And you can find your angle and just sharpen it. Now it's not going to go super fast, but it's going to sharpen those serrations right up. It doesn't take a lot of, lot of power. You're not going to power through this, you know, and you got to be real careful because you don't want to run your finger up into those other serrations. But you're just going to find your little groove. And it's going to sit there and just slowly work those serrations back to where you want them. Make sure you get that right angle. It's pretty easy. You can kind of eyeball it and see it. Now, this is one of the cheapest ways, easiest ways to do it. Now, there are other ways to do it. So, let's say you don't have this, but you have like a ceramic edge sharpener that like an angle sharpener you can come through here let's just pretend this had sharp you know sharper corners on it and you just pull it through pull it through and you'll start sharpening those serrations up so if like the uh which one is it the sharp maker by spider code will do serrations really nicely but if you don't want to invest that much because you only got you know a couple of these or one or two of these this is the easiest, best way to do it. Just boom, just like you would on a like a sharpener. You just kind of straightening out those serrations, and getting the little edges better. You're just gonna go through it like that. But you got to be real careful. This isn't something you can just mindlessly do while you're watching TV, unless you want little fountains of blood coming out of your fingers. Alright, so there you go. You're just going to move your way up. Now this knife hasn't been banged up or anything, but... So it's not like I'm su super sharpening this thing, but I'm just going through the motions to show you how this works. And you go through and move it down a little bit. It's got these little grooves. It just catches those grooves. As long as you don't get in a hurry, you're going to be okay. And if you get in a hurry, like I said, it's going to look like you got stabbed by little tiny needles. There you go. Just keep that angle. You're good to go. And you just follow through all the way through. So there you go. This is probably the easiest way, cheapest way to get into sharpening your, your cold steel serrations there. It's got a little keychain. I guess you could latch it onto something, but I would just chunk it in. 
the drawer or the bag when, whenever you need it. Grab that bad boy, find the grooves, and go to town. I bet you could sharpen other knives on this. Let's see. I wonder if you could sharpen. Let's find something here. Yeah, you could probably use the ceramic part to sharpen like a non-serrated edge. But, so it's not just like, you know, it's going to be tiny though. It's going to be tough, but you could do it. Or you could do the uh, chef thing and just kind of work the work the dings out there. Get a little bit going there. But mostly, I would just use it for serrations. And hopefully this makes you less afraid to buy a serrated cold steel knife because, man, if you're looking for something that's going to rip some stuff up, I'm just... Let me see if I got something over here. There's some styrofoam here. Just, <laughs> Just... <laughs> So yeah, I'm telling you guys, these serrations mess up some stuff. Mess up flesh and clothing and anything else that you need, need to just rip into. So there you go. The Lansky Cold Steel Sharpener. Find it on Amazon. It shouldn't be an issue. Your serrations are no longer a problem, and now you can join the serrated club with the rest of your cool friends. All right. I'll talk to you later.